love bugs is Roslyn back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended family just thank you for being you just being beautiful and just learning and growing about yourself like I said growing about yourself yes because you're growing and you're learning a lot about yourself that you you know you really didn't know before so you're growing about yourself Going about your business. <laughs> With that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, I don't know why you were waiting. Go ahead and stop and hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like the video is, you know, you, you enjoy the video, please, if you are comfortable, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, bring it just up, tell me about your empathic gift or how it, it you know, impacted your life and sent you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes and you're like, hey, you know, I want to share this with such and such, so and so, go ahead and please do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and like it, even share on your social media favorites. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. And thank you so much for showing love and support to the channel. And today I'm listening to one hour of Kundalini Rising 420. 432 hertz all chakra awakening and I can't say that last word is such a tongue twister for me but you'll know what I, you'll know it when you see it if you want to go ahead and do it but I'm not even about y'all are not even about to play with me today because there's just certain words I cannot say <laughs> and it aggravates me when I can't say it because my brain and my lips are not working right but anyways um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101 Empaths in the middle of a war zone. Yes, we are smack dead in the middle of a war zone. Yes, we are. Oh, Lord. Because it's just like if we weren't raised in the hood or we're, you know, we're living in the hood. We had a bad childhood. We had a rough childhood. We had a rough upbringing. Any kind of way we have been in a war zone one way or another. Not like these sad kids over there in these other, you know, in, in other world countries where it's sad to see these kids running for their lives, you know, trying to, you know, make sure they don't die or, you know, God forbid anything, you know, other things that they've been exposed to that children really should not see. But it's just like we're on a war zone every day, especially as an empath. You know, we're really, we're dealing with our own battles. We're fighting our own demons. We're trying, you know, trying, trying to be correct. Not you know, just politic politically correct, but I mean, it's just like, you're trying to do what's right for you, you're trying to do that better path, because the, the old you and the path that you were doing weren't really working before, so it's just like, we had to go through, you know, a traumatic shock in the face, you know, and path, you know, go through something that was very, you know, tri you know, not trifling, but uh, traumatic, and it really just like reprograms you to make you just undo everything that's been done to make you believe things that you were told to believe that is not believable. Basically, <laughs> you know, it's just like, wait a minute, this is not real. Wait a minute, y'all told me this didn't exist. Hold up, wait a minute, what does this have to do with anything? But does this have to do with this? And it's just like our minds are like this new playground of all this knowledge that you're finding out. But it's a scary thing at the same time, especially if you don't know what's going on. You know, it, it was like a scary experience for me, having a Kundalini attack or ascension symptoms or going through a spiritual awakening. These things can be scary for anybody and make you feel like you're in your own damn war zone with yourself in your mind. Make you feel like you're going crazy. You're losing friends left and right. You know, you might be losing jobs left and right. You might be losing spouses left and right. You know, people are not, you know, you're not doing the things that you used to do with your friends anymore. Things are just the average lifestyle is just not even serving a purpose for you anymore it's just certain things that i used to do i tried again and i'm just like this is not even serving me anymore <laughs> it just doesn't do anything for me no more i just get a, uh, you know so it's just like you know learn more about yourself educate yourself there's a reason why you don't like the things you used to like anymore there's a reason why you don't 
you don't do the routine things that you used to in the past. They probably seem boring to you or you just don't even get motivated by them anymore. Or it's just something that you just feel is just not, un just very unhealthy, you know. So it's just like, keep knowing more about yourself. If there's questions, please ask me. You know, I, I ask, you know, I answer them the best way I know how. And if I don't know, I go look. You know, there are so many things that I go look for, investigate. You know, there are certain things that I can bring up to people and they're like, Rosalind, I never thought about it like that. Or, you know, they can bring up something to me and I'm like, well, shoot, I'm so glad you told me about this technique. I never thought about this either. And that's the blessing. Like I said in my last video, it's a blessing with us because that's why I wanted a support group. You know, basically my channel is like a support group for empaths like us, knowing there's other people out here like us because we feel so alone. Even when when we can be around a lot of people if they're not on the same level as us we feel alone so it's just like it's a blessing for me to be able to basically start a, a support channel to be able to have these vlogs be able to be open and and vulnerable enough and raw with y'all enough to let y'all know you know this is what you get you know as being a you know a twin flame an indigo um uh hey okay empath 12 you know um clairvoyant um you know medium anything white witch this is all what this consists of things that i do on a daily basis you know the the mistakes the you know the mishaps the trips the falls the bumps that i had you know i let y'all know about these things because i want y'all to know yes you can get through this it's just like you know you need to be able to go to somebody and say you know what she kept it real with me you know, she didn't make it seem like it was all sunshine and roses. Like, oh, I meditate every day looking like I had me a, a volume shake every day. I was like, shoot, if you can find you a volume shake to get you to act like that every day, hook a sister up. Because I would love to have one. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like I keep it real with y'all. You know, I go through my vlogs. I love what I do. Because it, it feels good for somebody to actually say you know what i'm going through this too and i'm so glad you said this because you know i i don't know if i would have been able to say it because you don't know what people are going to say when you approach them about certain things you don't know how they're going to react when you tell them about certain things you react that's why i tell a lot of people you know if you got facebook messenger like i don't do all the instagram and stuff like that because i barely do facebook that's why i say hit me up on messenger now i'll be on messenger as much as i can you know when people don't want to actually come out and vocally say because you know they they feel of judgment or being made fun of and which I understand you know this is a very sensitive subject for a lot of people for to be you know to be understanding all the things that we're going through and you know experiencing it can be very strange it can be very overwhelming and it can be very scary so if you don't know what you're going through or even trying to process this, there's some times when I'm still going through everything that I'm going through and especially when it comes to my father I, I mean it's Y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, he's like, "Will you stop doing that? Stop doing that." He always, he'll, he'll get annoyed with me. Like, stop doing that. You know, you're just acting like this. I'm just like, well, you are you. You know, <laughs> I didn't think you know this was possible, but you know, I'm like, hey, it, it still happens like that. You really did all this or whatever. But you know, it, it, it's something to process. It's something that has to grow on you for a minute. You know, you should never be able, you should never be afraid to voice your opinion, especially to me. You know, as long as it's respectable and you come at me a right way, because there's certain times y'all can ask stuff and y'all got to be very careful about how you write things. Because, I mean, you can really be giving me, a, you know, a, a, a good compliment. But when it comes to me, I'm like, are you trying to be smart? Are you asking me a stupid question? <laughs> and I, you know, that's why I ask you, please be, be clear. It just depends on what your answer, what your response is going to be on, on how I react to certain things. So it's just like, you know, that's why I always try to make sure, you know, I'm very clear. I'm very vocal. Make sure, you know, I, I let you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I can go on left and you be straight right, right down, you know, way down the street with a cat down the road <laughs> like infinite water says you be way down the street with a cat like the cat down the road but you know I, I want you to be able to get my videos I want you to understand that you know what you're going through is normal for a empath for a hey oka I ain't saying for no regular person you are not a normal person there's nothing normal about you but it's not a bad thing that the fact that you're not normal that makes you very unique and very special so never feel like the gift that you have 
is like something bad like you know because a lot of people you know in certain certain world you know certain worlds it, it, it's just like not certain worlds but certain religions in certain places with people like us they feel like oh my gosh they're demons or oh gosh their family's been cursed you know i i you know when i do different you know see different videos in certain places like when people especially have um you know like a growth or you know like a tumor or something like that i cry because a lot of kids it can't help because things are genetic or you know they they didn't have uh, the nourishments they could you know get supplied where where their parents were pregnant with them or whatever and then next you know they're born with these things and you know you're living in these you know different countries where they're say oh gosh you know the parent did something bad so the, the child's cursed and it's not actually what it is it's just you know, it, it's just life, you know, even though it's messed up, it's just like this child had to go through all this, but it would be a blessing at the, you know, at the end, you know, if the child can be able to get help, because not all kids are fortunate like that, but, you know, anyways, it's just like when we're going through our stuff, and we're in our own hell zone, or our own war zone, just know that, you know, we're going to get through this one, we're going to win this war, <laughs> we're going to win it, you know, you might be bump bruised, you might have one arm missing, you might, you know, be flipping like a daggone chicken but you know what you'll be okay <laughs> you will be okay you will be okay you might be a little deflected your elevator might not go to the third floor you might your radio might not tuned all the way but you will be okay you will be okay you will get through this war knowing that everybody fights their own demons but we we, we win this just don't let your weaknesses get to you and I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all had a good hump day. Hey, and it's almost to the end of the week already. It's like we're flying past through Monday. It's like it just felt like Monday yesterday. Well, yesterday was Monday, so you know. But anyway, but I hope y'all have a blessed day. <laughs> uh, send out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can. Let me give my notification shout out to. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Lisa Johnson and Lisa McDevitt. I think that's your name, McDevitt. Mc McDevitt. I hope I pronounced your last name wrong. Please, I mean, right. Please forgive me if I did pronounce it wrong. That's why I meant today. I'm saying I told you we're hell because we do say stuff backwards. But anyways, post notification. Hope you're doing blessed and highly favored. If having a prosperous week is most especially a prosperous day so know that you are blessed you truly loved and highly favored knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i will see y'all on my next video much love to you peace and be wild. oh yeah like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i love to get to know you even give me a thumbs up share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and i will see y'all on my next video peace and be wild. Yeah, hit that notification button. Bye.